Hi there, DW Berman here. Just uh, going to show you how to get started with the uh, DP Instance. Cool little plugin from Dennis Pantanier. Um, here I ha in the scene, I have a uh, jack o' lantern that I want to uh, clone. I want to instance. And I have a, this uh, little half pipe looking thing, or quarter pipe looking uh, piece of geometry that I want to use to place the pumpkin. So I'm going to switch back to texture mode. Make sure that you have your uh, the current item is set to the object that you want to control the instancing. So open up the object properties for it. Go to the geometry tab, add custom object, and you'll have DP instance in there after you've added the plugin. Double click on this, and that brings up the DP instance panel. Now we have a, a reference list that's empty. You can't do anything with it. And a scene object list. The scene object list is the list of the objects in your scene. And the thing I want to clone is this, the thing I want to instance is this uh, object, the jack-o'-lantern. And now I add the new object reference, and that adds it to the reference list. So you can have multiple things, multiple objects in your reference list, and the reference list are the items that are going to be cloned. Um, I want this to be, well... If I click on the preview up in the top and change it to box preview, it shows me where the object is going to be placed and the orientation of it based on the box. You see it's sitting on the edge here. That's because uh, DP instance defaults to positioning the instances on points. In this case, I want to position them on the polygon. And I have 56 polygons in this object. I can see by my object properties up here. So I'm going to come down here to the instance number, and I'm going to set it to 56. And that sets 56 instances. And uh, that's all fancy schmancy. But if I hit F9, I render, I'm not really seeing anything. You know, none of the instances are rendering. So I think this thing must be broken, right? Well, not really. Let me move my camera closer for one thing. There we go. Uh, if you open up the uh, window, the um, volumetrics and fog options, you can add the volumetric, the DP instance volumetric here. If you double click on it, it ha tells you that it has no interface. But now when I render, let me move my camera again. I didn't set a keyframe, so it didn't save the location. Now when I render, I see pumpkins. Granted, they're sitting halfway through my uh, object, so that's not cool, but uh, they're there. Um, we have a lot of options that we can play with. Uh, the reason I did this, set this up using geometry, is because I kind of want all these plugin or all these pumpkins to be facing the same direction. So I go to the uh, rotation tab and I change the alignment to surface normal. Now when I render, we see them rotated. You see the little tops of the pumpkins sticking up. Uh, and, you know, I can't really see, you know, them very well because they're uh, kind of buried there. I'm going to try something. I haven't tried this yet. I should, probably shouldn't re be recording while I'm trying new things. But uh, let me grab this pumpkin. Um set up probably I uh, move pivot let me see what happens when I move the pivot point to the bottom maybe nothing doesn't look like the instances are updating so you'll probably have to set the pivot or er, position your object in modeler so yeah our uh, little objects aren't sitting up but that's okay. I don't want to see the plane anyway. This uh, this curve. I don't want to see this curve. So I'm going to go to the scene editor, and I'm just going to uncheck the the active column for that object. I'm going to do that for the jack o' lantern too, because I don't really want to see this jack o' lantern. I just want to see the ones that I'm rendering. So let me switch my camera view. Now when I hit F9, I should only see the pumpkins, and they're following the curve. 
Uh, I could also let's let's tweak some of these settings. Uh, let me go to my object properties. Make sure I'm on the bent grid object. Um, I can change my rotations. I want to change my heading. Uh, the minimum can be zero. I'll make the I'll make these all random. So we should uh, see some facing us and some others facing away. If we want them all facing the same direction, uh, do 90-90. We want to set the minimum and the maximum to the same. <laughs> if we don't want them, any variation in our rotations. So that's pretty cool. We have a little army of uh, pumpkin guys. What if I change my... Uh, Instance position to surface. See what that does for us. Well, we can see our preview down here. It's much more random. And yet it's still following the contour of our geometry. So, there you have it. Uh, just getting started with DP instance. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh... So, have a great day.